don't leave me this way I can't survive I can't stay alive without your love oh baby please don't leave me this way I just can't survive without your tender love the hawk up here trying to scare it with this invading our little love nest over there all the little all the little birds are scared and uh, threw a rock at them and stuff like that try to maybe try again oh hello there people hello there friends what are we having here don't leave me this way I can't survive doesn't have a head on it I'm trying to figure oh yeah I mean uh, we used to play man I used to play in this backyard oh, we got a gun here man got a little gun bang bang shoot him put it in my holster so um those back steps there you know I, I should look him up too see if he's see if he's on Facebook or if he's on the internet when I was a kid really small tiny you know like sure, small small I played with this guy Eddie Harris the kid we used to play with the oh what a smell wow seriously I don't know where that came from it was just overpowering anywhere for the camera I wonder if the Zulos are still here alright it's the house next to the Zulos Eddie was half he was mulatta and his father was so nice he worked at the pharmacy his mother too he used to let us just play you know play you know, the cowboys and Indians all that kind of things you do with army men I used to bury my army men I don't know why my mom used to say where's all your army men I keep on buying you know, all these army men <laughs> and I kept on burying them yes a little sentimental today for some reason I, I figure like get in touch with the heart and maybe glove too all right um yes there are these things so i'm going to get at it briefly it'd be nice if frankie was here frankie it'd be nice if he just like, popped out of his door and we'll, we'll ambush him We'll say you're on the West Wonder Radio. Anyways, you gotta be careful. Again, I don't know if anyone was listening to the show this week might have known some people that were sort of, sort of like the topic a little bit, but um. But that has surpassed. But it's always good to uh, to explore it and then look at it. And when I say this kind of stuff, I hope it's, it's helpful because we're here. We're supportive. We're very, very supportive. I'm, I can't find anywhere to put the camera. I, but you know, I'm saying to myself, I don't really know all the lyrics of that song. I was gonna, you know, I was gonna possibly dance to it a little bit. I'm looking. Bobby is listening. I remember we used to go in the back there, hang out in the back porch. And that's a little nostalgic, you know. Why, why not? Not too cold here. I mean, my hand because I'm wearing some light stuff. I don't know, man. I hope. I hope, uh, uh, 
Well, maybe if we go down here. Oh, there's somebody living there. Oh, it's nice, too. I don't want them to think uh, I'm invading their, their, their space. I can't seem to... Uh, I mean, I know if I went over there, I probably... I mean, even though it doesn't have no, no trespass or anything like that, it's just I have respect. You know, I wouldn't want wouldn't want people to, like, you know, just surprise or Turk or torqued, like torqued. We learned we learned some new, a new word, torqued. And here I wouldn't mind because, as I can say, like. I, uh, I'm just visiting, I'm, uh, like, nostalgical. Well, you never know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't see the harm. No, I, I can say I'm looking for a cat or something. I can't seem to, I still can't seem to find anywhere. I may be here. Don't leave me this way. No. I think this will work. Maybe. Wow. Um. Yes. So anyway. Nah. Too far. Too far away. But what I what I discovered by um. By. By like taking the extra step. Like with certain things that keep on happening, it's like I experienced it um, from doing this show time in and time again about you know being selective about things that go on. You know, I mean it's just one thing, and even the guy, the the guy Bill, I don't know his last name, maybe Bill Barr, he. Uh, going through confirmation here for the Attorney General. You know, he talks about, you know, this is it, man. You have your laws. They're not special for anybody else. You come up with them, you come up with them. You know, nobody, you know, should be granted, you know, that kind of a thing, especially political. You know, you're throwing a political. But what I want to talk about selective outrage. We have a lot of that. And sort of like tying it into uh I still can't find a place man Ish. you got your coffee everything man you got your puma shoes we can't even look bling bling I don't know man um I mean you really got it to be like if you're having like these things like so if one one issue like comes up you gotta say to yourself, well, well, why are we not like paying attention to others? Like, let's let's be fair about things. And now, well, this place used to be owned by uh, Sam. He was from India, and you know, I knew him really well. <laughs> oh shit! But new owners here, so uh, still the same stuff back here, man. I saw. I ever doing a video. I don't know how many years. I think I used that that can for a uh, for a mic. Oh, we got something new in the neighborhood. We have uh, your clothes and your shoes, man. That's nice. We got one shoe out here already, man. So you just put it in there. I like to find out the owner of the place. Maybe you can get uh, like West Run Radio, like uh, like duds for our new season and uh, I don't know, commercials, maybe. Show is being brought to you by Newport and uh, Strawberry uh, Roll Ups. Don't leave me this way. I can't survive. Ah. The last resort was, uh, used to be a telephone thing there. Alright, so uh, that will do it from us. We even had the gun on us. Could have did like, uh, Beretta kind of thing, like welcome to our new season with Chicago Land. We're on foot, getting some uh, some exercise. 
with the Puma size and the Shuma and the Duba and the Ruba and the Kuba and the Sheba and the Hua and the Wuda. All right, the thing is, too, you know, what I mean, like education, we're talking about like generations, like generation past generation. I mean, when I was at school, they you had some nice words to learn, you know, could help you. I mean, because you talk about success and all this kind of stuff. Instead, we talk about all the, the things around it. Like, uh, like gender and all this kind of stuff. And race and religion and all this. Been sorting it out for how many years now? Where, uh, where I can remember, you know, like the system that was in place. And like with the education and all that kind of stuff. And the tightness. Uh, I mean, there was like, bring it back, man. You know, where did that go? What is that? That sensibility, where, where if you want it, you can achieve it. Nobody is in your way about it. All this stuff's just noise. Noise. You have all these complications. Where we're, I can't do it because of this. I can't do it because of that. You know, they're sensible people. In offices and everywhere, they're sensible. That's why I'm saying. I mean, if you, if one thing you find to fit into your like, you know, your uh, quarry and your uh, your list of uh, things that um that apply to to being of a of this certain like behavior or this certain like position where. You're just like, you know, you're trying to say the other person is, is, is like something that they're not. And you try to put them all in the same categories. Like, oh, we got one from here. We got one. That's, you know, I even heard somebody on Morning Joe this morning. He said, uh, he said they all, you know, something like, um, of another, I, I had to turn it off really quick because it was just like disgusting. It's disgusting. I mean, whatever he was saying, he was like, uh, you know, there was like the reason why they're not saying anything about this guy is because, you know, they're all like that. It's this thing, it's this, it's this feel good kind of thing. I forget how it went. My hand is sort of getting a little cold. But, um,. Important. I guess I got uh, I got distracted by uh, by the swearing in. I thought I thought to myself, I said to myself, "Wow, that, that's some some intelligent, you know, thing there." Like, car was in a way I, I would I would do something that you probably would never be able to see in your entire life I mean I have respect for the car but I know I can throw this coffee up and I know I can catch it like that and they're going too I can throw it all right so that will do it from us on the big easy breezy all right we're gonna go get some peanuts now that's right that's what I came out for some peanuts but, um, well, yes, I couldn't stop, I couldn't stop thinking about that. Then, like, Stephanie Roll came on and all that. I'm like, wow. In other words, like, they're all like this, like, you know, they're all like this. Every one of them, every single one. And I'm like, wow, like, I'm like doing a, a Fred Sanford thing. Uh, I'm like, Elizabeth! Elizabeth, like you know, it's painful. It's painful how how the how how like you know just doing this. All right, choo choo, magic buzz. A little cherry, a little chili. Got your fifth abs. Hi.
little chilly out there. It's warming up. I'm rewinding. <laughs>